All right, welcome back to Happy Hour, everyone. When giving a speech, of course, the president wants to sound confident and in charge, but sometimes the words coming out of his mouth might not be telling the whole story. His body is. Body expert, body language expert, Tanya Raymond, author of the book, The Yes Factor, is here with us for happy hour. And she's going to help us uh, analyze the president's visual communications. And maybe she'll give us some insight into our body language <laughs> as well. OK, so Tanya, welcome to happy hour, first Thank of all. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. We want to show, I want to show you a clip from the president. This was April 2008. And then I want to get your feedback. Let's Absolutely. We can't wait to deal with crime on the streets of our major and urban centers. We can't wait to bring back after school programs and summer school programs for our youth. We can't wait to bring this war in Iraq to a close. We cannot wait, and that's why I'm running for president of the United States of America. <laughs> all right, all the, the yes. gestures with the hands. High gestures, you see those high gestures, those indicate excitement, power, authority. The higher the gesture, the more powerful you're thought to be. So when you do that with such enthusiasm, you come across as really dominant. How high, though? Now, this is too high. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're in a situation <laughs> like this high. and you're running for president, that's where you're going okay. to be, you know? Tanya, a lot of the uh, administration, I'm thinking Tim Geithner for a while, they, they do this. This. Yeah, what yeah. is this? This is the new political point because this is a little too aggressive. I agree. Yep. So now what happens is we soften it by doing this because we're still making a very valid point, but at the same time, we're not in your face. I also wanted to ask you something about your book because I was uh, looking through it and, and you talk about it's interesting because you know people think ah body language come on you know like when I go like this people think that I'm off putting I'm like I this is a comfortable position right. for me yeah. uh, but in your book you also talk about how it's so important because jobs dates yes. And That's promotions. what it's all about, yes. Because it's not necessarily how you feel when you're doing this. It's how others are perceiving you right. when you're doing that. So the big question is, you might be self-aware, but what is the other person reading into your movements? And that's the bigger picture. All right, Tanya, I, I sit on this stool every <laughs> single night. Yeah. Sometimes I, I catch the shot, and I'm like, yeah, OK, so now look at this well, shot, like actually. I a slump. I mean, I, you know, should I be sitting like that's this? Why I well, you're showing your goods when you sit. Oh, that's oh. Right. I mean, Aaron, I showing off the goods. Show. That's right. So we, we see, you know, she and I have our legs crossed, very nice. Men tend to sit with their legs a little bit more spread. They feel more comfortable that way, and it's a dominant position. So he should or shouldn't do that? It's great. It's great. It's great that he does it that. It's terrible, though. Is it, sitting <laughs> well, up? you don't look sloppy. As long as you're sitting up, you, what, you know, what, you're not slouched what, over. What does this versus this yeah. mean? So we have some submissive gestures that pretty much say, hey, hear me out. Listen to what I have to say. And then we have the more dominant, like, stop and listen to what I have to say. Mm -hmm. So it, how you use your hands makes a difference. Because if I'm making a point and my palms are up, I'm saying, come on, give me an opportunity, as opposed to, Hey, listen, I know what I'm talking about. It's a big difference. So if, uh, if you're there, you're going for a job, you're, how do you sit? You cross your legs or you, you open the goods? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Show, you know, what how do you sit? Show you, the goods. Do you, you don't yeah. open oh. the goods. <laughs> do you the cross your, interview, your hands like this? You want to just be open in a job interview. And the job interview doesn't start once you're sitting down. The job interview actually starts in the waiting room because that's the first time someone gets a good look at you. And then how you stand up, how you present yourself, the first handshake, very important. First tactile communication we share with another person is really intimate and that tells the person a lot about you. Uh, Mr. Obama has a little bit of problem when he goes off teleprompter. You can see it in his face. He was down in, in Louisiana yesterday and you right. could tell he was it was raining. He couldn't use the prompter. He had papers. He was getting frustrated. Yeah. Right. You you start to you hear it in his voice when he gets frustrated. There's a big difference. Like here, when he's talking, the pitch at the end of his sentences goes down. Power, authority. When he's starting to get a little bit more upset and a little bit nervous, the pitch rises at the end, and it's more of a question as opposed to a statement. And that's also something that's really important, especially in a job interview. Right. Okay. You want to make what sure about that it's a uh, statement. date? You talk about in your book too how to get that second date, or that's maybe right. even. The first, get the date, first like date at the bar. That's right. You know, again, you guys are sitting great. You're open. You're out there to the people. You don't want to be sitting with your back towards anyone because that's not an open position. If I'm looking to meet a man in a bar, then I'm going to sit towards the people in the bar. Do I, we? I mean, some of this, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but also a little bit to me, it's like a little mumbo jumbo, like people who are who claim to be psychics. You know, right. they can read my mind. Yes. Uh, you know, do people just subconsciously? I mean, I understand this one. But other things, I think, I mean, I don't look at somebody's body position and, and overanalyze it unless but I do, do it consciously. You do unconsciously. And here's the great thing. 
typically when we like each other, we naturally form into rapport, right? We build rapport, we sit in similar positions. But what happens is if we're slightly uncomfortable in a job interview or in a setting like this where we need to meet someone, you have to learn how to take that and if it's not organic, make it happen. Take the tie off? But no, the, the tie is good. Tiny Ryan, you're <laughs> going to stick around. I am going to stick around, yes. Do quick shots right. with us. Don't go away because on tap, what's Spider-Man doing in a